Well, I, uh, out of high school, I went into the United States Coast Guard. They sent me through aviation school, and I became an aviation structural mechanic. So I learned how to uh, do the sheet metal work and the fiberglass work on the helicopters and paint them and paint corrosion and the hydraulics and all that kind of stuff. So I get to San Diego, and right, right then they said, now pack, keep your bags back, you're back up to San Francisco, you're going to go to Alameda, and we're going to send you through Naval Welding School. Um, and they taught me how to TIG weld and weld the exotic metals, stainless steel, aluminum, titanium, chromoly, and all that good stuff. Phenomenal school. So I came out of that with a skill that was life-changing, obviously, and I loved it so much that uh, when I wasn't working on the helicopters or flying the rescue or whatever, mm -hmm. I was in the metal shop welding, uh -huh. making little airplanes and little oh, wow. uh, whatevers, and, uh, and then I started to work on boats part-time uh, to make some extra cash, and I started doing bow rails and radar arches and things like that, and brackets out of stainless. Life goes on, get married. Um, got into the flooring business and uh, we started to build the flooring business. We're a wholesale distributor of floor covering supplies. Now fast forward to 2007 and we're up to 45 branches in seven states. We cover the whole southwest and I'm on a plane once a week and I've got the marriages going. We got two young teenage boys and they're on drugs. It, it, things fast pace. Things are, are kind of spinning out of control for me, and I end up having uh, a severe brain bleed. With, and the doctor said it was due to stress. So my wife got me to the hospital just in time. Uh, yeah, it's hours from death. Spent basically a month in ICU in a coma, and. Uh, I could no longer function in the business world. The things I used to do t and took for granted, looking at spreadsheets or figuring out, uh, you know, whatever, I, I just couldn't function that way anymore. And I started to um, kind of spiral out of control because of the pain and, and just I, I couldn't deal with anything. So I started to, to do the artwork as a way to escape from the headaches. One thing led to another and uh, you know, pretty soon I was producing pieces and uh, looking for some place to put them and then we come over here, my, my best buddy's from Kailua on Oahu and his sister just moved from Oregon back to the island and so I make a little fish for her as a housewarming and I bring another fish over and I tell my wife and my friends, yeah, I'm going to take this fish over and I'm going to show it around some galleries and, and just get some feedback. And my wife and everybody says, no, that's not, you need it, actually, you need to have an agent, you need to do this professionally if you're going to be over here. And they were basically dream killers telling me, no, that's not yeah. how you're supposed to do this. So, right, whatever. So I give the fish away, it's our second to last day on Oahu, and we're going to go up to Holly even and walk around and check things out. And we go through this building, and it's this beautiful gallery. It's called Wise Gallery, but I didn't know anything about it at the time. But it's, it's like, this is fate. This is my angels looking after me. Sue, I brought the piece. And they said, don't do it. You're going to embarrass yourself. And I said, no, I get it. what the hell? Nobody's here. So I go up to the middle there, and I'm talking to this lovely young lady, Michelle Ching. And I asked her, I said, so what's an artist got to do to get into a gallery like this. You know, it's beautiful. And she sort of looks at me and says, well, there's this huge process. You need to go online. You got to apply. You got to send in your, your thanks. I get it. I understand. And I said, just five more minutes of your time. You're not busy. Nobody's in here. Would you mind taking a look at, at a fish that I brought in just to gut check? You tell me what you think of it. Then Robert shows up and Robert's looking at it. And the next thing you know, they're both saying, listen, the owner's not here, promised me he'll come back in three hours. And I don't even get to the front door, and this young, good-looking man comes running out. He says, hi, I'm Brian Wyland, and it's just on your website. It's checking your stuff out, and I want to talk to you about your artwork. And I said, great, let's talk. And uh, so I'm talking to him. Next thing you know, this other guy comes walking and says, hi, I'm, I'm Bill Wyland. 
I was given the gift of faith um, through this healing process in the hospital. And uh, I know that we have an afterlife. Mm -hmm. And I know that there's totally. God. And I know I have a guardian angel who has watched me through so many life-changing events that I, I took for granted. But now I know that we all have a purpose, we all have a reason for being here. And I still don't know what mine is, but I, I, I'm just kind of going with the flow and as, as uh, something tells me I need to do art, I need to make this, I need to you know, do something with the stone, do something with the metal. Just, I don't know what, what the answer is, I don't know where I'm going with all this, but I'm, I'm open. Yeah. I met Bill, and he said, uh, hey, you know, I got a new gallery that I'm going to do in Lahaina. You want to you be a part of it? It's like, are you kidding? Sure. It's, it's yeah. like, okay, let, let go of the business world, the things I used to do in the distribution. Yeah. So we start talking, and yeah. next right, thing no, you know... No artist. Oops, next thing you know, next thing you know, he says, listen, I'm, I'm doing a new gallery in Lahaina, it's yeah. how soon can you get your stuff over here and it's, I said okay that gives me three weeks to crate, it, crate the stuff up, get it on a freighter, get it over here, get into the hospital, get a brand new hip to in, <laughs> get eight weeks of recovery under my belt, get clearance and then get over here for the grand opening. And I said sure Bill I can do that. <laughs> and we pulled it off. And so, we, I built the crates, we got it on the freighter, got it over here. Well, at first off, let me back up the story. So, so we, we have this meet in Haleiwa, and then we shake hands on it, and it's like, great, high five, boom, we're gone. And I'm, I'm on cloud nine now thinking, wow, I'm going to get to be in a real gallery with real artists and all this stuff. And so, and my wife and friends are going, oh, that's awesome. So now fast forward the next day, we're on a plane coming home, saying, Oh, I can't believe that really happened. I said, shouldn't we have signed something? Yeah, we probably should have had some paperwork or something. I said, well, do you have any for I didn't, I don't know, I didn't get anything from Bill. I got a handshake, and I, I got like a phone number here. So I get back, and I call the phone number, no answer. And I said, well, wait a minute. I think Bill said he, he had a golf tournament or said he was going to Vegas or something. He was going to be playing golf for a week. And so now my wife and friends are saying, you got punked, dude. You got punked. You better do some real intel on this guy because you're going to send all your shit over there and it's going to end up somewhere. You don't even know who the hell Bill, what Bill is. You got nothing. I said, you're right. I don't have anything. I said, no, but he, that, that was legit. It was really Bill Wyland. I said, how do you know? He didn't give, where's his card? Well, he didn't have a card. So all he gave you was a phone number and you keep calling it. He doesn't answer. I said, no. No, this is real. <laughs> so I don't know. He so Bill's on a bender in in Vegas doing his golf tournament, and halfway through it, I, yeah. he must have had three or four voice messages from me saying, "Hey, really, Bill, you need to call me because I need to know if this is legit or not. I need to know if you're just working me and, and what's going on with this." And he says, "No, yeah, really, no, you really need to send it." Said, okay, take a leap of faith. We're gonna let it go. <laughs> And uh, so anyways, but Bill was a real deal, so obviously. <laughs>